Welcome to Faith in Five, a weekly video devotional designed to discuss practical spiritual concepts in five minutes or less. I'm your host, Mark Vandella. One of the scariest places that you can go uh, as an adult turns out to be a high school cafeteria all by yourself. I, I used to do this quite a bit when I was in college, and it's, it's something that we would regularly do as a Young Life leader. And Young Life leaders still do it across the country every day. You walk into a high school cafeteria and everybody looks at you like you're crazy. I've actually sat at, at high school lunch tables with kids that said, what are you doing here? Don't you have friends your own age? And do you go here? Right? And it's just a scary place that makes you so self-conscious. And it, it's like when you walk into a cafeteria like that, all of your insecurities show up. But the reason we would do this is because Young Life believes that Part of sharing Jesus is earning the right to be heard. And we're wrapping up our Tell It Well series based on Jennifer Spolma's book, Tell It Well, where she lays out a three-step plan of discovering our story, owning our story, and then sharing it. And she believes that if we keep our stories to ourselves, the world misses out on something significant. And so the the unique thing, the plot twist in, in this last step If you want to check out because you don't want to share your story, the plot twist is that really as we want to share our stories and we embark on this journey of sharing our stories, the first step is not telling everyone everything we did. It's not telling or teaching everything everyone that we know or everything that we know. Really what it is, it's more about learning and living. Learning other people's stories. Jennifer says in her book that, that when we... When we're able to see and find the common, the common storyline in our lives, it brings everything into perspective. And so when we can see how somebody else's life maps onto ours and we can find those shared human experiences, we have at that point an opportunity to share how Jesus impacts our lives. By living life next to people, we actually earn the right to be heard. Within the last few weeks, actually, Young Life met with the Pope And the Pope said that the thing that that he notices and he loves about Young Life's ministry is that it's not just a series of of activities or events, but that Young Life enters into the lives of of adolescents, that Young Life seeks to step into the lives of adolescents and help them navigate the complexities of life. God has asked us to live live that out, to earn the right to be heard by learning and living. See, Jesus is famous for saying that we, people will know that we are his followers. People will know we are his disciples. People will know Jesus better by the way that we love. And so instead of going out and, and teaching a dissertation or bringing a PowerPoint presentation, what we should bring is our lives and our stories. And we should bring our, our, an insatiable desire to learn more about the stories of other people. When we see our lives as simply our own, they, they're empty and they lack purpose. But when we can see our lives and our stories as a part of God's story, then it becomes beautiful. And, and in doing so, when we connect those dots for our story, we also help others connect those dots. The things that people should experience from us when we are sharing our faith are represented in Galatians 5, through 23. It says that God's spirit makes us loving. It makes us happy, peaceful, kind, good, faithful, gentle, and self-controlled. And so when we are living our stories next to somebody else, step by step, helping people navigate the complexities of life, these are the things they should experience from us. Instead of judgment, instead of classroom, school type you're doing this right, you're doing this wrong, here's all of the knowledge that I have. But instead, if you are to share your story this week, as you consider how you will tell your story well, consider how you might be able to to share life with somebody. Call up a friend, sit down with a stranger, ask somebody their name and hear their story. Become good at learning somebody's story. The, the old saying that people don't know, don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. That maps perfectly onto to Jenny's platform here with Tell It Well. 
So this week, as you go out and you start telling your story, after you've discovered and you've owned your story, go out and live alongside people. Get better at asking questions about their lives. And then you can begin to share how God stepped into the spot in your life where you suffered. Or how God made your life this much better up here. And find those common storylines within their story and your story. And help people see the, the, how God's spirit makes us loving, happy, peaceful, kind, gentle. This week, live your story well.